with barefoot chef. Today, since it's a full season and it's also apple season, I thought why not share one of our family's favorite full dessert, old fashioned apple crisps. So, why don't I start making it so you can also start making it in your own kitchen. You will need eight apples, whatever apples you prefer, peel, core removed, and cut into wedges. Aside from the apples, lemon and orange zest, you will also need half a cup of sugar, one tablespoon of lemon juice, one tablespoon orange juice, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon ground nutmeg. Here's the full list of ingredients. Combine the apples with the orange and lemon zest, juices, sugar, and spices. Use your hands to combine. Butter the baking dish and pour the apple mixture. Set aside while we make the topping. Preheat oven to 350 degrees. And while oven is preheating, let's make our yummy topping. We will need one and a half cups of flour. To make the topping, I use my food processor. And if you don't have a food processor, just use your hands. Just mix it until it resembles kind of a, a coarse crumbs. We need three fourth cups sugar, granulated sugar, and three fourth cups packed light brown sugar. And just spread it onto the uh, inside of the food processor. We also need one cup of oatmeal and just spread it and half a teaspoon salt. We need two sticks of butter and we are going to dice it. Spread it evenly on top. Pulse until mixture resembles coarse crumbs. Here's the list of ingredients for the topping. Scatter topping evenly over the apples. Bake for one hour. And voila! Here's the apple crisp. Time to do my favorite part and that is tasting what I made. I already know what it tastes like. But for the sake of my vlog, I'm going to do this for you guys. Mm. It's so good, guys. And the, per the perfect pairing for this one is vanilla ice cream. So make sure you put ice cream on top. I will do this later with the ice cream. So there you have it guys, old fashioned apple crisp that you can make right now while apples are still in season. So until next time guys, please don't forget to hit me a thumbs up below after watching this video. And once you've tried this recipe, 
go back to my YouTube channel, leave me a comment, and also share this recipe with your friends and families via Facebook, Instagram, or via text. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.